Hello and welcome to this e-learning module on researching crisis and disasters, a historical overview and some methodological issues. My name is Bianca Villar and I am a PhD candidate at Innova Institute in the Department of Business and Technology of La Salle Universitat Ramon Llull, where I am currently undertaking an EU Marie Curie project on crisis management. In this module, we will be discussing the conduct of research in the areas of crisis and disaster management. Crisis and disaster management are both inherently multidisciplinary fields. In fact, scholars assert that crisis or disasters are ill-structured messes that constitute a highly interactive set of problems. Following this, whenever there is a crisis or a disaster, whether man-made or natural, it is not unusual for multiple players to be involved. This is because crisis and disasters are often managed by organizations that belong to a network. The field has since seen a number of research contributions from scholars in different backgrounds. This includes, for example, sociology, management, public administration, political science, psychology, as well as technical specialties including epidemiology, information technology, and engineering, among other fields. On the one hand, this multidisciplinary perspective has contributed to the richness of perspectives used to understand crisis and disaster management. Yet on the other hand, such characteristics also present the issue of potential divergence among various perspectives. In turn, this raises the challenge of putting forth a more cohesive research agenda on crisis and disaster management studies. The aim of this module is to provide an overview of the current standing of crisis management as a research area. In particular, I will be providing some details based on my experience as a PhD candidate in the research domain. This module therefore has the following core components. First is an introduction to researching crisis and disasters. A snapshot of the development of crisis and disaster research is discussed, including the historical phases of disaster and crisis research, dating as far back as 1920s, where the first systematic study of disasters was undertaken, and the decades that follows through the founding of research institutions that are devoted mainly to the study of disasters and crisis. Second, we will talk about methods of crisis and disaster research and the issues that come with them. This will discuss what makes crisis and disaster research methods unique or similar from the research approaches of various fields in the social sciences. Moreover, the issues that researchers face in relation to their chosen methodological design as well as method of analysis will also be tackled here. Finally, we will be looking at an example through my PhD dissertation, which is Capturing Behaviors of Organization and Individuals in Crisis Environments. Here, I will be discussing the methodology I used for my own PhD dissertation as an example. I will also be providing some insights on challenges and opportunities I came across as I was undertaking data collection and analysis. I hope that you will find this module interesting and I look forward to seeing you again in the next session.